Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of May and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Scorpio, we'll see what is your overall energy, what you need to know regarding your career finances, general messages for you for the month of May, what you need to know regarding your love life, and the challenges and opportunities that are coming towards you. Like I said, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, link for the extended is in a description box and comment section. Alright, so <clears throat> let's get started now. What is your overall energy? The sun. You're going to find yourself becoming extremely happy. Okay, there is a good news that is coming towards you. In fact, I feel more than one good news is coming towards you. And uh, for some of you, I'm hearing that there was a huge burden on you and that is getting uplifted. Okay, something, something, maybe some sort of allegation is uh, you're becoming allegation free uh some sort of uh, someone was trying to bring this reputation to you uh a clean shit is being presented uh, uh for some of you i do see that For some of you, maybe if you're trying for pregnancy, if you were trying for pregnancy for a very long time, Scorpio, then I'm hearing that you're getting that good news. Someone is becoming pregnant over you. For some of you, your stuck money is coming back. You're winning some litigation suit. So I do feel there is a, a, a long pending wish that is getting fulfilled. And that is why there is so much of happiness. And I, I certainly feel there is uh, more than one good news. And because of that, you will find yourself in an absolute happy and a jolly mood throughout the month of May. Okay. In fact, the energy for the month of May is such that most of the times things are going to go in your favor. Okay. Like 99% of the times things are going in your favor. And uh, that is why there is so much of joy. Okay. What do you need to know regarding your career and finances? Career and finances, I feel, Scorpio, that uh, you might exit your job if you're a 95 person. Uh, you're going to quit something where you're not finding happiness. Okay. And that is going to happen pretty sudden. I mean, it might look sudden for other people. Uh, but at a subconscious mind, you were preparing yourself for this even for a very long time. Like if you wanted to exit, you you knew somewhere deep down that you're going to exit someday uh, from this job or you, a change of career that you wanted to do. And it's going to come across as shocking for others. Maybe you recently received a promotion, okay, and then you're quitting. So it might come across as a shock for others. But it might also be the case like you expected this promotion long back. Like you were, you want, you are thinking about this promotion to come your way like six years ago, but every time the organization kept on dealing that for some other the reason. And now probably you are, you are feeling so annoyed about this entire thing that if the promotion, even if the promotion is coming towards you, you knew that you definitely deserved it, but you deserved this promotion to come your way long, long, long back. But you might be like, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm better than this. Okay. And I'm going to prove these people that I'm better than, better than whatever they are throwing towards me. It's like, I have been waiting for this promotion for last six years and you just, after six years, you have thrown this promotion at me. I deserved this six years back itself. So maybe out of anger or maybe uh, six years you were uh, preparing uh, some side business and now it is flourishing. 
and now you have got the promotion and your side business which nobody knows about is also highly flourishing and now it's the right time for you to exit so you are in a way i'm just giving this an example this is not going to be for every one of you uh, uh because indeed not every one of you watching is a 95 person but i do see that there is a switch a major switch that you are doing in your career either you are ending one situation and starting another one uh you are hopping jobs or you are ending a 95 situation getting into another business or maybe you are shutting down one business altogether and focusing on other lines of business which are actually being productive and giving you high returns so there is a major switch that is happening however this major switch might look unexpected for others as far as money is concerned i do see some unexpected expenses that you might do okay you might do these expenses again i feel to celebrate something like i told you with the sun card there are multiple good news good good things that are coming towards you uh, so to celebrate something you might spend lot of money you might want to watch your expenditures okay then what are the other general messages that you need to know we have the world i do see that you are traveling uh you might spend your money on travel as well okay it was a long overdue wish that you travel some day uh it was a long overdue wish that you probably do some luxury travel uh maybe you wanted to go first class and you want to you wanted to stay at uh, the elite restaurants and places you you wanted to pamper yourself so you're planning this and this this is something that you always wanted to do you have been planning this vacation for years maybe okay so finally that is happening but again i i with the tower card i would like to say you watch your expenses a bit in the month of may don't get into overspending uh for some of you you're completing a major cycle a cycle where you have seen tremendous amount of ups and downs a cycle where you have lost many people many near and dear ones okay near and dear ones where i mean you might have lost some of you might have lost parents siblings or some of you might have lost uh you might have lost some of your friends maybe or even a lot of relationships so maybe what i'm trying to say over here is because there was there were some heavy losses that you experienced in the past okay you were kind of tired and exhausted with this cycle but the good thing is like it's it's about to end very soon and you're beginning with a new cycle pretty soon for some of you it might be the case that you're beginning this new cycle in a new place okay uh so for some of you relocation is likely if you were waiting for your visa approvals and all that stuff that might happen in the month of may by the way let's talk about your love life we have ace of swords queen of wands and we have five of cups when it comes to your love life ace of swords queen of wands and five of cups all right <laughs> first of all someone is watching you scorpio someone is watching you they have been watching you since a long time watching you stalking you over social media maybe stalking you in person as well you might know who this person is you might not know uh whoever this person is they were stalking whoever this person is who was behind the scene behind the curtain now they are coming to the forefront this person is coming to the forefront they are letting you know there is some intense conversation that is happening between you and someone for some of you this can be an ex because of the fact that we have five of cups over here okay so for some of you this might be an ex who 
who wanted to patch up, who wanted to reignite the entire situation. This person, I think, so after you guys have broken up, this person has seen you grow. This person has seen you, how fast you have grown after uh, you guys broke up, how well you're doing for yourself after you guys broke up. So there is also this thing that they want to come back now because you're doing fine. You were, you were, you probably you were not so happy because this person's energy, this excess energy was overpowering you or this excess energy was infiltrating with your energy. And because of that, you are feeling low and disappointed and uh, less with less of energy. Okay. But now, because you have distanced yourself from your ex, you are doing fine. Now that you are doing fine, this person wants to improve their own situation. They don't want to feel sad. They don't want to feel disappointed. They want to feel happy. So they are thinking that you are in a better position. And maybe you will be able to help this person out also to become, get to a better position. So they are coming towards you with some selfish thought process. Okay. So if it is an ex, you may want to be cautious. But if it's an ex, this is not going to be a situation for all of you. Okay. For few of you, this is going to be an ex. For uh, for many of you, in fact, I see that this is a new person. Okay. Even if it's a new person, you might know, you might not know because there is a stalking energy. The stalking energy is common, whether this person is an ex or not. Okay. So, uh, whoever this person is, I do see uh, intense communication between you and this person. I do see some heart-to-heart -heart communication. I think so you will start developing affection towards this new person okay uh, I mean I do see you going out on dates with this person I don't see you holding yourself back the more time you are spending this person uh, with this person the more you are feeling attracted towards this person the more you're feeling like there is some substance in this person that this person is not bad apparently initially your first impression was something else okay but still you decided to give this person a thought okay still you i mean uh, this person a chance okay and uh, in the first date itself you you sort of realize that maybe this person is different and i need to spend some more time to explore this person uh, truly to get to know them really i will have to spend some time and that's why you will go out on some consecutive dates with this person and the more time you are spending this person the more curious you are becoming about this person the more interested you are becoming in this person okay so i do see you getting emotionally involved but you are getting emotionally involved pretty gradually in this person and this person is already heavily heavily already emotionally involved interested in you okay um i do see a connection happening over here and don't worry uh I don't, I'm not getting any kind of negative vibes from this new person. This connection is protected. You are protected. This person is also someone who is wise. They are also protected. In fact, the reason they were stalking you for so long or they were stalking you so badly is because they felt that intense connection with you and they were not able to understand like why they are feeling such a magnetic pull towards you. There must be something between you and them because of which they are feeling such a strong attraction towards you. Okay, so that's what I see. Again, if the X is wrong for you, this person will automatically get eliminated from your life. You don't have to worry about it. They won't succeed in reigniting a situation if they are not the right one for you. What I see, especially with the Queen of Wands over here, Scorpio, is that you are strongly protected by some unseen forces. Especially, I feel like you're either your ancestors or spirituality most likely your ancestors they are closely watching you they are closely pushing away those energies who should not be a part of your life anymore now okay they are trying to create space in your life so that you can invite right kind of people okay 
let's see what are the challenges that are coming towards you we have the emperor so emperor uh, as much as the positive attributes of an emperor are like leadership qualities and all that stuff because it's a uh, uh, it's this card has popped up in a uh, challenge card i think so the negative attributes might pop up in the month of may and the negative attributes of an emperor card are adamancy okay being adamant maybe uh, nurturing unnecessary ego might also be a possibility okay so that might be a challenge for you to not to succumb to these negative attributes of a of an emperor which are those the negative attributes are unnecessary adamant behavior and uh, nurturing unnecessary ego okay uh, or acting out of unnecessary ego okay that might be a challenge to not to act out of unnecessary ego might be a challenge to not to act adamant might be a challenge for you let's see what are the opportunities 10 of swords okay so certain opportunities might actually look like they are the endings but see whenever we get whether it is tower card whether it is ten of swords even though they primarily represent an ending okay they also represent a new beginning okay so uh, there might be opportunities that apparently will look like they are ending certain things in your life but by ending those things they are actually giving you opportunities to begin something new which is fruitful which is beneficial for you okay so have patience that's what i will say the month of may is very good for you the month of may is eventful month for you okay and have patience all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended by the way i am getting this message of pregnancy again and again okay so if you're trying to be pregnant it's quite likely that someone i mean if you want to be pregnant someone is about to become pregnant over here so the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you likely conclusion between you and this person take care have a great time and bye scorpio